Hello all, it's Barb here, professional home care personal support worker, union steward, and certified member of the Joint Health and Safety Committee. On this, the 16th day of the COVID-19 pandemic, I had a work injury. Yes, I was so mad. I've mentioned before, I will just keep working until I'm told to stop. And things were going along swimmingly until my second appointment this morning. Don't worry, first off, I'm fine. So I go to the second appointment and basically what ended up happening was someone had a grip of my hand, my last three fingers, like this. And instead of letting it go the way they usually did, they bent, squeezed, bent it back and twisted. So my middle finger, I heard a snap. And I thought, oh, what fresh hell is this now? I didn't think it was broken, but you can have a break and not realize it. So I thought, well, you know what? It's a work-related injury. I just clamped my hand into a fist, finished doing what I was doing, and got myself to the hospital, which was two minutes away. And one of the upsides of this is I didn't have to pay the parking in there. It's $3. Yay! Right side. Yeah, so I went to the hospital. I ended up only spending two and a half hours there, which was good considering an ambulance showed up. If any of you have ever been in a hospital and you're waiting for a really long time and you're wondering why, chances are an ambulance showed up. When an ambulance shows up, everybody else goes to the bottom of the list. So I thought that was pretty good time. So she palpated as I had done before so I could figure out where it hurt and I could explain. And they took an x-ray and they said at first blush it doesn't look like it's fractured in any way, but a radiologist will look at it. Soft tissue injury at the least. It is very sore. It hurts to do this. It hurts more to do this. <laughs> so modified duties is what I'm on now for the next week or two is to not grip anything tightly with this hand and modified duties. You do want to follow the doctor's instructions because you could make things worse. So that is what I will be doing. So the next step was, of course, I call my supervisor who sounded a little upset because I wondered when I reported it was to a different supervisor and I wondered what the supervisor told. She said, oh my gosh, I thought you were really hurt. And I'm like, no, I said I was, I didn't know if it was broken, but there was a snap. So I don't know, but everything worked out well. And then the modified duties part is going through my patients to see if there's anyone uh, that does not fit into the modified duties. So we uh, we did that and uh, I said, well, there's one, but they've taken themselves out of circulation during this time. No, I looked through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, everything looks good. And I'll call her on the Sunday when I get to see what uh, Monday and Tuesday look like and say, yeah, there's nothing, nothing I need to, uh, we need to take off. That's about it. So yeah, and I'm sitting here, this is the last thing I need, but bright side, it's not broken. Yeah, it's my right hand, but it's not broken. It's not my wrist. It's not my elbow, my shoulder. It's not my back. It's this finger. And I can still do my job. If I keep my hand in a fist, I can still do things. You know, I rode the ride as far as this point, And now I've had to reassess and modify my duties, but it's only for a week or two. And that is all right. Other than that, I hope you're all doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe. Don't touch this. Wash your hands. Remember between the fingers, remember to moisturize. Be kind to your fellow human, check on your elderly neighbors, and this too shall pass. But as I said, we need to nail down how we're handling this because we'll need it again at some point in the future. Thanks for listening, letting me rant, and y'all have a great one. See you on the flip side.